I tried. Anyways, let's uh, go ahead and eat like a couple cheap meals here. All right, let's uh, let's see here. How do I want to go about this? Let's just uh, start like here and work our way around. Oh, I'm I'm already seeing another shrine in the distance. Excuse me. Slight hiccup. So yeah, let's get over here. We're going to head. Our ultimate goal this episode is going to be that shrine that's like dead in front of me. Because as you can probably tell, that's where a village is. We also got a shrine here. Let's go ahead and yellow marker that. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to, to go down. I was trying to look. Just trying to look. Thank you, game. Okay, we got an enemy camp right there. Mm hmm. There's a tower. There's another one of those things. We ain't seen one of those in a while. Look at this big old bridge. There's a. Oddly enough, there's a. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and head here. Because it looks like along the way there may be a shrine in it for us. So we'll take this way. Oh, big bird boy is right above us, isn't he? He is so near. It's kind of like, like of all of the, the, hello, where did you come from? You just, you just ran right down in here, didn't you? I will oblige. Hold on. What, what was that? What caused the fire? Oh, we're at an enemy camp. Uh, I even looked right at that enemy camp, didn't I? I was not paying any attention at all. Well, he offed himself. Thanks. Okay. Let's just kind of let these guys chill for a second. Okay. They're still mad. And let's get rid of you. Get rid of that other blue one. Okay. Now there was. No, there was something new here. No. We haven't picked up any Tabantha wheat. Alright. I probably should have landed on up there if I wanted to get up there to those guys. I'll take this stuff though. Um, how are we going to get up there? Am I going to have to climb somewhere? This tree looks like it will do the trick. Let's get up on this tree. Link, you want to... I don't even know why I'm dealing with these guys. I don't really need to. But they shot at me first! I kind of have to whoop the ass now. Wouldn't be surprised if this had a Korok on top of it. And this is a... Let's get some... And I don't have a weapon. Yep, yeah, there's one. And boom. Let's get that in the compendium. Let's see what what were they what were they had to be guarding so so hard? Oh, hey, shock arrows! I'll take those. I kind of want those. Those are good to have in those major tests of strengths, like in last episode. All right, now 
We're being told a shrine is in here. Well, that's picking that one up over there. Let's pick up all these arrows they shot at us, though, because that'll save money in the long run for sure. For sure. Hello, hearty truffle. Yeah, I want to make my way over to the to the stable. Got a deer. I'm gonna let the deer go. Hold up. Uh, like game froze for like a second there. I thought maybe we were going into a cutscene or something the way it was acting. Oh, hey, what's up? I want to fight this thing, I guess so. Yeah, it ain't gonna hurt. These things are. They ever get a. I think I've gotten pictures of all the Hinox things at this point. At least I should. Ow! I was just trying to get out of the way. Oh, he's a slap happy boy. And if you shoot his metal brace on his leg. get a bunch of shots in on him. Uh, I don't want to waste that too much. Let's use this. Gotcha. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! That was too slow. Ooh, oh, that was not good! That was not good! Remember when I said this thing was going to be easy? I need to stop saying that. Every time I say it, I end up getting my butt kicked. Nah, he's still easy. I'm just dumb. Sub <laughs> squirrels. What is up, friends? Am I even going the right way? Well, I could have just totally murdered that thing. Instead, I'll murder this jerk. At least I feel I feel better about killing these things because they're actively trying to kill me. Okay, let's see. I was trying to find that where that. Hold up. Where is that? Okay, I need to be going over there. <laughs> I'm just kind of all over the place here. Yeah, I want to head over to that that stable. Cool, Safina. It's cool. Coolsville, Daddy O. Trying to snap my fingers real fast, and my fingers are kind of sweaty and won't let me do it. One of the things I like about this shrine is it has tons of wood just laying here for us to grab. And I'm going to grab all of it because certain side quests that require all of this wood. But this is the Rito stable. We're going to see the Rito soon. Who's excited for that? I know I am. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give me that wood. Every bit of it. Some raspberries or wild berries because this game can't use real terms. Spicy peppers. Here's Cass. We know what he does. Okay, this dude. The thing about me is, I just can't get enough spice in my life. 
Spicy. I need that Bernie tingle. I need curry rice. Now I have Hylian rice on hand, which I need to make curry rice, but I'm fresh out of Goron spice. I can't just run off and leave the stable. If you happen to get your hands on some, some Goron spice, can you give it to me? Thank you kindly, sunny boy. Curry rice always warms me right up. What about your, this cute lady? Okay, she just tells us about the place. Alright, so we saw this from a distance. It appears that the shrine is actually a little bit far from this one. Yeah, our boy is close by. There he is. Look at him up there. Definitely the most intimidating of the four divine beasts in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Some might not agree. I've heard a lot of people state that they think that the one in the desert is more intimidating. And I can see it. I think the thing... That's, I mean, this one flies. I have not picked up a swift violet. How? How have I not picked up... Those are common, too. <clears throat> little tunnel here. Kind of cozy. Yeah, I could see why people think the, the one in the desert is more intimidating, but... I mean, th like I said, Vine Meadow... Spoilers, that's the name of that thing up there. Um, I mean, that thing's flying. It could take out pretty much the entire continent if it wanted. I mean, I guess technically the others could do it too, but not at the not at the the pace or the speed of what something flying would. We're technically going into a new area here, but I kind of don't mind it. It looks like we're going just beyond what kind of places we were just at. Well, hello, boulders. Couple buddies just rolling around. Yeah, we ain't seen these little green guys in a while, have we? My little green friend. Are we cold? We're cold. Let's put on. No, we already had it on. Okay, it's that cold. Uh, do I have any cold food? Like. Mm. This help? Yep, there we go. Now we don't need to worry about it. Eh, shut up, whipper snapper. Just making our way over. Mm. This thing's turning out to be a lot further than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be just a bit closer. I hope this isn't what I think it is. Uh, we got something over there. And I don't feel like dealing with... Okay, this is kind of closer to the other tower. But I saw something... I see... Okay, I'm seeing the... Oh, I'm seeing a dragon. That's what I'm seeing. I saw his tail. I saw something red here, and it's like, oh, wait a minute. I'm just seeing the um, brain is not happening right now. Oh, wow. Well. Hello. 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 Hello, little friend. Oh, that's such a good picture. I kind of want to... Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna, this is like, I want to, I want to get the, uh, we need to do this, so. It's literally right here, so. Uh, 
All right, where is it going to land? Okay, I have no, okay, I think I saw it. It's, yeah, right, the, right underneath us. And hey, we got a Korok puzzle too, so. Kill two birds with one stone. So we got Dinral scale. We'll save that for when it's needed. And you, look like you just go right up here. All right, this red dot. Let's put on some climbing gear. Let's see, map, where? Oh, this red dot's all the way the frick over there? Forget about it. We'll do that later. I thought it was like on the other side of the hill where that sh that stable was. I'm pretty sure there is a shrine over there, but we'll look for that later. Let's just head towards our goal. That sounds a lot more <laughs> logical at this point. But hey, at least we got Denra scale. We got us a Korok out of all that, so... That wasn't too bad. It was a happy little mistake. But yeah, we're going to head over here to... To this. To all of this that we're seeing in front of us. And we're eventually going to head to that. And I'm looking forward to that. Mostly because of the, the ability that we get when we defeat that thing. That's going to be, that's 100% the reason I'm doing this in this order. I actually, you know, honestly, you should probably just do this one first. This makes this game so much easier if you do. All right, back here at the stable. Hey, looks like we kind of missed some of this wood. Let's go ahead and grab it. You also got these trees you could chop down, too. This is like all the freaking wood. Give me every bit of this. Yes. I want every bit of that, because it's going to be needed. Take these berries. Alright. Well, hello there. Who are you, sir? Yeah. Good morning. Did you need something? I am Gassane of the, of the Rito. Yes. The Rito of Lake Tatori, where the men are fine archers and the women better singers. You being a Hylian, I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you get a chance. Well, let's uh, keep making our way on over there then. Let's go ahead and get our... Our go-to's back on here, just because I prefer. A cute little pond here. Couple cute little ponds. Bunch of cold darners and butterflies randomly flying around. Link has to have like the strongest legs on the planet. Just do all this running and stuff he does. Good lord. Let's not even talk about his stamina. And I'm not talking about like stamina meters, I'm just talking about like real stamina. There's a refresher on our iron sledgehammer. I'll take that. I'll even take this shroom. Got another little pond here. I thought this had fish in it. It does. That hearty salmon, you can kind of see it. kind of need these for something later. So I'll just go ahead and grab them now, even though we'll end up back here at some point. Thought I saw something over here, didn't I? I guess I didn't.
There he is. Big bird boy. We're going to bring you down here in a little bit there, buddy boy. Get your ability. Here we are. We are at Rito Village. And yes, this music is awesome. Hmm, are you a traveler? I'd like to show you around, but now's not a good time. This is Rito Village, but, well, you could say we're not in a welcoming mood. Talk to the folks in the village to hear all about it. Any other questions? I accidentally hit the same thing. Anyways. Anywhere there's a village, there is going to be a mini. Got a statue, so let's go ahead. And let's get a little stronger. And we have a heart container. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Hey, morning. So have you seen it? Divine Beast Farm Meadow? Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it, but I have bigger problems. I'm sure you do. My mom is so annoying. Oh my god, he's right. She asked me to help out the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave, leave you to that. Okay, we got an inn there. Here's our store. Anything to take a picture of? Bomb arrows, I ain't got a picture of that. Thought I had all the, the arrows. Oh, but these... Okay, I got those. Cool. Of course, this is what we want to check out right here. The clothing. Yes, give me this. We got snow quill trousers, snow quill tunic, and snow quill headdress. And this is next level cold resistance. And I want... And I'm going to get... All of this. Am I going to have enough to get this, or am I going to have to sell first? Fine. Cool. And I'll go ahead and get the the headdress. And let's go ahead and equip it, because it looks really good, actually. I like this. Yeah, especially when I die at the color that I like. We'll do that soon. Yeah, this is the, when you hit the, like, super cold regions... This is what protects you. And oh, look. Oh my god, they're so adorable. Oh. Baby Rito. And we got a cooking pot. And there's our quick travel to this area. The Achvachat Shrine. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, windmills. Okay, it's this one. This one's not too bad. Sometimes I kind of have to feel myself around a little in here. Pretty sure you, I don't want you facing that way. Let's put you there. I'm turn you that way you that way let's boink this one in case you ain't figured it out you're wanting all of these to to spin every single one of them okay I think I actually want you that way Okay, which one? Okay, I need that one. Okay.
No, no. Um, is it you that I need to? I think this one is it. Yep. Where's our chest? Where is the chest? Oh, it's on up. It's up there. Let's go get that. Yeah, that's not too hard of a puzzle. You just kind of fill it out. Feel, feel it out, not fill it out. I right, guess we got to go over this way. Okay, we got a chest in there that we can't get to. And all you got to do is shoot this. That'll take care of that. Open it up. Think this is a weapon. I think. No, it's an ancient core. I will happily take that, actually. But wait! There's more! Get these little grooves over here. Got us a sapphire. Well... Happily take that since we we sold our stock, most of our stock of um, excuse me of jewels. Got another one here. You got a feathered spear. I'm pretty sure this is what they intended you to move the 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 wind things around with in this place. But we kind of did this a little backwards. Let's go ahead and get our picture. And I'm actually not going to take it, because it's not that great of a weapon. I said I'm not going to take it. <laughs> I want to keep the halberd. Honestly, it's better. That should be it for... Yep, that's all of the, the goodies in this dungeon. So let's go ahead and go get our orb. We're already getting close there, aren't we? That was simple enough. So let's continue to sniff around this village. We've got, uh, we got a lady Rito in there. we got a sleepy Rito there. Got this, this lady walking around over here. And this has to be the most adorable Rito ever. She's absolutely just the prettiest. Look at her. I like her hair. Can I help you? Never mind. Forget it. Something seems to be bothering her. Look at this little guy. He's weird looking. Flight range. That seems to be close to where that shrine is too. Interesting. And we have an owl. I love owls. I guess this guy's a throwback to Kapora Gabora. Oh, uh -huh, a visitor. Welcome to. Oh, oh, the object on your hip. Could it be? Forgive me. Where are my manners? I am Kennelly, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a Sheikah slate dangling from your hip? Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master Bravali, one of the few able to board Divine Beast Vameda. No, what am I kidding? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Ah, oh, forgive me. Champion descendant, if you would listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. Thank you truly. Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with divine beast Vameto, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. 
Teba and Harth tried to confront Meadow, but it did not go well and Harth was injured. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Meadow alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please, find Teba. If you work together, you must be you may be able to stop Divine Beast Vameto. Well, interesting. Let me see our little well hello, you're adorable and just adorable. Okay, so now our yellow dot is at this lady. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband Teba in the fight against Meadow. But to tell the truth, there is not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Well, my husband headed to a place called the Flight Range. It's in Dronox Pass at the base of the Heber Mountains. It's a place where Rito warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Meadow. As it happens, he made his way to the flight range on his foot this time. If you take off from Rivali's Landing, it's a straight shot down to the flight range. Rivali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion Rivali, so named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! Descendant! Descendant, are you all right? My apologies. I fear I have said far too much. If there is anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. So yeah, this time it's not lovey-dovey, boo-hoo, baha, mifa story. It's, hey, we got ourselves a little rival. What you got? Good day. Whoa, I just realized you're, you're a Hylian. You just wandering, wandering around Hyrule, trying to find yourself? Yeah. I'm here on my honeymoon, but this town is seriously a hole. Hey, hey, that's mean. In Gerudo Town, they've got jewelry to buy. Izora's domain is always a hoot with all the weird spiritual fish people. But here, I just want to go home already. I need a break already. I can't believe my husband brought me here for our honeymoon. He already apologized, but if he doesn't want a divorce, I told him he'd better bring me a baked apple. Wow. 
What is with the women in this episode, in, in, in this game? They are awful. I mean, do I have a baked apple? I mean, I don't. Um, let's just... Real quick, I guess. Because it's such an easy thing to... <sighs> the things we do in this game. Alright, no, I don't want to do that. Let's... Get some apples. Ugh. <laughs> All right, let's go back and talk to this. I mean, this seriously, like, she's like that woman in Kakariko. You're gonna divorce your husband who took you to this beautiful, scenic, amazing place with bird people that can fly and talk. And you're going to divorce him over a fucking baked apple that I made in 10 seconds. <laughs> I know that smell. You've got a baked apple. Can I have one? I'll give you a present. <laughs> yeah, 100 rupees. And she'll give you more rupees for more. Her husband, well, real quick, he's down here. I believe at the inn. Uh, talk to her real quick. Want me to tell you a story? Awesome. Me too. <clears throat> Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped at a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain and looked down below him to the northwest. When suddenly he saw a huge snow-white birdie with its wings spread wide. My grandpa took off flying after the snow-white birdie. As he got a little closer to the white birdie, Grandpa saw something super important inside its belly. The birdie had swallowed. I always get sleepy around the part of the story, so I don't remember. Oh, I know where the big tree is. It's over there. You see it? Grandpa said he saw that the snow white birdie from that tree. <laughs> now, what did this snow white birdie swallow? I can't hear this. I can't hear the story from Grandpa anymore. Oh, Nintendo just with the random feels. Okay, come on now. Can we not? Okay, let's go down here and find this guy's wife, and then we'll call it an episode. Or this guy's wife, this girl's husband, I should say. Um, that's the store. That is. The inn. He should be over here. He is. This poor man. Oh, hey there. Good day. So, are you staying in Rito Village too? <laughs> I see. Nice to meet a fellow admirer. I always like the simple nature of this village. Oh. Although, I'm starting to regret choosing it as my honeymoon destination. It's really cold here and there's not much to do, so my wife is complaining non-stop. She won't even talk to me right now. Uh. Oh man, if this doesn't work, she's going to divorce me for sure. I need to make some baked apples to keep my wife happy. But I don't have any flint to start a fire. Well, we got plenty of that. Hey there, good day. The unmistakable slight acrid scent. You have some flint on you, don't you? Can you sell me a piece? Alright. We've ma made all bunch of money off these people. Alright, now I can make some baked apples. I still need to make some more baked apples to keep my wife happy. So please bring me more flint. Yeah, he'll make you more money too. So, it's kind of one of those situations. If you've got what are common things, you can get 100 rupees for them. And Well, we do need the rupees. I don't feel like going through a bunch of it. So, anyways. In the next episode, we are going to go find Teba at the flight range and continue I guess we guess we're I guess we're doing we're doing this we're actually doing proper story now it's been a while another cute little burb yep we'll head over there and we will I believe that's the that's gonna be the yellow dot yep right over there so See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.